Hello out there YouTube friends, I'm Cindy. This is Sincerely Cindy Settle. Today, it's a trunk club. Okay, so if you're not familiar with Trunk Club, it is a subscription style box from Nordstrom. Um, there is a subscription. You can either do one month, like every other month, every three months, but you can also do this one on demand, which is what I do. I don't do this one very often. The um, Trunk Club, there is a $25 styling fee, which I believe is waived if you have a Nordstrom card. You fill out a style profile, just like you do with a lot of the other subscription boxes. They send you a preview of several items, and then they send you... I don't know, looks like between like maybe nine and 10, eight and 10 items from your preview. If you don't fill up the trunk with the items from the preview, they will supplement with other things after you have given them some feedback. So everything is available on their Trunk Club app. The stylist does give you some style notes and some ideas and some styling ideas through the app, um, as well as, I believe, in the style note as well. You will have all of your items in your trunk. All of the items are individually packaged, so I've already unpackaged those things just to make things go a little faster. You will have this envelope in your trunk as well. This will have your, let's see, it will have your instructions on what to do next. It will have your style note in there. It will also let you know that there is a referral program, which my referral code is down in the description box. If you want to try Trunk Club for the first time, there is a $50 credit score. Um, and for those of you that have already used my um, referral code, thank you very much. I do really appreciate those credits. And then you also have your items listed with their prices. I have found that if you use the app to look at the prices, sometimes they will go down um, in price from the time that you get the preview to the time that you actually receive it. You will have strips to close your trunk because everything does go back in this box. And then you will have your return label and this goes through FedEx. So they can, you can ask them to pick it up or you can drop it off. It's very convenient, very easy. So let's get to trying some things on. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we have our first item. I just thought this was such a pretty dress to start this try on with. It's so springy, it's lightweight, it's beautiful collars. I just felt like it was the perfect um, dress to start off with for this time of year. Right now it's cold here. I don't know if you guys have been having some wonky weather, but today it's like 40 degrees and tomorrow it's gonna be like 80, so it's crazy. So anyway, so let's talk about the dress. So we do have a pretty pink um, background here with some flowers. I love the floral print. There's a lot of things that I love about this. I love the neckline. I love the little ruffle around the neck and I'll get a little closer so you can see that. The elastic here, I thought that I wasn't gonna like it, but it actually, I feel like it is cinching my waist, giving me more of an hourglass figure. Um, so I do like that. It's not uncomfortable at all there around the waist. And then you have the pretty tiered um, bottom here. And I like that the tiers aren't necessarily just rounded. They are kind of angled in a way that kind of brings your eye this way. So I really like that. A couple things that I don't like. You can see it is a little bit tight in the bust area, making the underarms a little bit tight and the back a little bit tight. So I'm hoping that maybe they would have this in a size up. I'm kind of doubtful. I think this is probably an extra large and it's unusual for me to find like two X at Nordstrom in um, things that I like from there. So maybe I could find it somewhere else online, but I just thought this would be a great dress for graduations, for um, spring or summer weddings, just, you know, a nice dress up outfit for a garden party. I don't know what a garden party is, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, for brunch or whatever, church, it would be a nice Easter dress as well. Um, I feel like the length is good. It's hitting me right at the knee. So let me get a little bit closer so you can see the neckline and the collars a little bit better. Okay, so here you can see the neckline. It does have this pretty little ruffle going around the neckline. You can see the bra straps, so you'd have to wear a razor back, a racer back 
or um, a strapless bra, which I would be okay with, but I feel like this neckline is flattering on me. The pretty pale pink with the pink and green flowers, I just think it's very pretty. There's minimal puckering here, if any, um, which is good. Um, everything is covered under the arms, but it is a little bit tight under the arms. That's my only complaint, as well as it being a little bit tight here, and I'm guessing it's gonna be tight when I do a turnaround as well. Um, I have not seen it from the back, so um, it is also fully lined, the top and the bottom, which is also a plus. So I'm gonna step back to um, do a turnaround. So one last peek at this one. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you think I should try to size up or if I'm completely off base with this one. So I've got several other items. Let's get right to it. All right, another dress. We're gonna go ahead and get the dresses out of the way. So this one is a little bit more casual. It is in a, like a heathered gray type of collar. It's more of a cotton type of material. Much more casual, would look cute with flip flops, with sandals, with wedges, with tennis shoes. Um, again, I like the silhouette of this. I like the neckline. Again, I think you would have to wear more of a razorback. Um, bra just to keep these bra straps in or you might be able to use like a double-sided tape or something to keep them more secure. I like the ruching right here. I feel like that's flatter, a flattering look here. I like this little detail, that fishtail detail there as well. I feel like it's not too long. It's not too short. It's right above the knee, which I think is appropriate. Um, so let me know what you guys think about this one. I'll get a little bit closer in just a second. Let's go ahead and do a turnaround. I don't know, this is good too. So you can see you just have <clears throat> a simple rounded neckline there. Underneath the arms is good, everything is covered. And when I look at it here, the bra straps are covered. I don't think that would be something that would be too much of a pain to manage throughout the day. It is a rather thick strap there. I think those would only peek out very seldomly. Um, I'm a little concerned with the back and the lumps and bumps going down through there. So I don't know, I'm gonna look back at the footage and see what I think about this one. But I do like this ruching here. I like that it's a little more fitted, which is something that I don't normally gravitate toward. So. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Um, I am a little bit on the fence, and of course, price always plays a role. I think that my husband would like this one as well. Um, he's always a fan of dresses and the fitted silhouette on me. I mean, he's a guy. What can you do? <laughs> All right, moving on. So here we have another dressier outfit. So the top the pants and the shoes all came in this trunk. So let's talk about the top first. So very cute, um, very comfortable. I feel like the fit is nice. It does have a ruffle here around the neckline as well as around the sleeves. And then you have a little ruffle, a high-low ruffle here going around the waist, which is very cute. I think you could wear this dressed up or dressed down. Not sure that I'm loving it. Um, it's kind of one of those things that I could take it or leave it. Like, if I had it in my closet, I would probably wear it. But if I send it back, that I won't miss it, that kind of thing. But it is very um, appropriate for work um, in the warmer weather. So that's kind of nice. It is lightweight, very cute. Let me get a little closer. So it is a white, like a classic white. Again, there's the ruffle there around the neck ruffle around the sleeves. It does have a little keyhole back here with one button under the arms. Again, you can see the bra just a little bit, but not a lot um, to keep me from purchasing if I wanted to keep this. The gaping here is fine. I'm not having any issues there. Um, again, I feel like the fit is good. I'm just not sure that it's doing a whole lot for me. Let me step back and I'll do a turnaround. So let me know. Again, I feel like you could dress this up or dress it down and it would be cute. So let's talk about the pants. So I had asked for a pair of black pants. You guys know I've been looking for a pair. I found a couple of pair that 
I've liked, but I just haven't loved. So I asked her for a pair that were more tapered at the leg. Um, and she told me in her note back that she couldn't find any that were tapered, but that she thought I would love these, and which I do. I do like these a lot. So they're not tapered, but they are very classic, um, high-waisted, black. They don't have po it doesn't they don't have pockets, which is fine. There is a fake pocket there on the back on one side. It does have a stripe going down the front. No stripe going down the back. And I'll show you that detail a little bit better when I do the prices and things. The length is really good for a small heel. Um, let me do a turnaround and let you guys see what you think. So you just have a, it's not a snap. It's one of those slide closures here. There's no belt loops and just a regular zipper. So I kind of like these. If these are a good price, these might stay in my closet. They're not really heavy. They're lightweight. So I mean, wearing them this time of year with something like this top would be very appropriate and very cute with a pair of um, wedges or sandals. So with that being said, let me show you the sandals. Okay, so I had asked for a strappy black sandal. Um, and you can see I didn't want a really high heel. Let me see if I can get that hiked up a little bit. I didn't want a really high heel. I wanted something that was easy to walk in. Um, these are Mark Fisher. They are strappy. I do like the unique way that they strap around the foot. I think that's cute. Um, the fit is good. It does have a squared toe. And again, I'll show you that a little bit in more detail whenever I do the prices. They are um, comfortable, but I will say that the strap right here might be a little cause for concern um, if you had to walk in them for a long period of time. So these are probably going to go back and I'm still going to be on the hunt for a pair of black strappy sandals. But these are very cute, could be worn casually and dressy, and I do like the height of this heel. It's very uh, wearable. All right, moving on. Okay, so I saw the top in the preview. I saw it was cropped and I was like, oh. I mean, it's kind of cute, but it's cropped. And then I thought, well, it might be cute with a high-waisted, dark-collared jean, you know, for a night out, for a date night or whatever. It might not show too much skin. You know, I watch a, a channel called Erin Busby Style or something like that. She's in her 40s. You know, she's talked about crop tops before. Of course, she's a little smaller than me, but I don't think that should limit you to what you wear. You wear what you're comfortable in, but I don't think that I would be comfortable in this. Um, it's very soft and very comfortable. I think it's cute, um, just not for me. But let me um, show you some details. So you do have you do have a very deep V here. You do have a very deep V-neck there um, that is going to show some cleavage. You have some ruching here um, that does bring this center up just a little bit. Cute little ruffles here as well. It is kind of a shiny material, but it's not like a satin, like it's overpowering. Um, and there is a little, I want to say there's a little ruffle in the back and then some um, ruching there in the back. And I'll turn around so you can see that. Oh well, I gave it a try. <laughs> All right, and then they also sent me these jeans. These are by Wit and Wisdom. They are more of a legging. They are a dark wash, and they do have this kind of elastic, kind of like democracy jeans, if you've had any of those. They do have this like slimming, slimming I don't know, elastic waist type thing there. Um, pockets are functional, just your classic dark um, jean with a little bit of washing here in the front. I feel like the fit is great. They're movable, and I've just got this on with the um, with the shoes from the last outfit, just to see if once I wear them a little bit more, if that strap is going to loosen a little bit across the toes. So let me show you the back of the jeans. See, my instinct is to pull this down. So. <laughs> Definitely not something that is for me, I don't think, because I just don't feel like I'm comfortable enough in my own skin to wear a crop top. I feel like if I would go out, I would always want to be covering or covering in the back, and 
I mean, it's not worth it if you're going to do that, right? All right, so we have one more outfit and a purse. Okay, so here we have our last outfit. So we have this pretty little tangerine t-shirt. It's kind of like a waffle net um, t-shirt, short sleeve, really cute, very comfortable. I love the collar. It's a lot of fun, very springy, very summery. I feel like the fit is good. I do have a little bit of a front tuck here. The sleeves are kind of, I wouldn't say flutter, but they're a little bit, um, I don't know, they're a little bit different, wider, I guess is the word I'm looking for, um, than just your regular sleeve. They're not cuffed at all. There is a little bit of, the hemline is not sewn, so I'm a little bit concerned about that, concerned. I don't know if once you wash that, if that's going to unravel at all. Um, it does have a little bit of a curved hemline there. Not too long, not too short. Cute detail going down the back. Just some stitching there that's kind of fun back there. I don't know. I kind of think it's a lot of fun. What do you guys think? What do you think about this stitching? Let me see if I can show you. Here's a better look at the collar um, and, the, and the collar of the top. I don't know if I even said that differently. Sorry, Petra. <laughs> That's just, it is what it is, girl. It is what it is. So you can see, like I said, those sleeves are a little bit wider. The color is very pretty. So this is what I'm talking about here on the edge. Let's see if it'll focus in there. I don't know if you can see that raw edge or not, but I'm not really sure about that. Let's talk about the jeans. So these are a vintage straight leg um, by Madewell. They are a lighter wash. Um, the fit is fine. I mean, it's just a button, zipper, high waist. Um, everything fits okay. Um, I feel like they're a little bit big right in here in the crotch area and this area right here. Um, maybe a little sagging here in the butt area as well. I realize they're supposed to be that way, but I also... Um, I don't know if I'm a fan. So let me know what you guys think about these. Again, this would be a really cute outfit with just a pair of tennis shoes, um, a pair of wedges even, but probably tennis shoes. All right, let me grab the purse and we will talk about it. So here we have this cute little purse. This is by Matt and Nat. It's kind of a grayish taupe collar. Um, it is supposed to be, I guess, a crossbody. It does have the adjustments here, the gold clasps. Um, not a fan of this. It has these flaps here on both sides that do not open. Um, oh, wait. This side opens. This side does not open. And then you have a zipper pocket here. And then this side opens like this, and you have a little pouch right here. So I had requested, and I didn't know if they had it or not, but I'm, I'm looking at, I want the Dooney and Burke, Bork, um, Florentine Satchel. I was hoping that they had it so that they could send it to me, I could look at it. There's not really any place around here for me to look at kind of luxury items like that because I mean we have a Macy's but they don't carry that brand um, so I asked her for that originally she didn't have that so she had sent me um, in my preview something similar by Tori Tony Tori Birch sorry sorry <laughs> um, and it wasn't really what I was looking for it was more of like a one big pocket kind of thing which is fine. I just don't think that I wanted to spend as much money as that one was if I wasn't going to get exactly what I wanted. So I asked her to send me a crossbody that I could fit my Kindle or a book in. I could probably fit my Kindle in here um, and a couple other things, but this is not what I'm looking for. I feel like this is a little not me. I need a little bit more. You get what I'm saying? All right, let's go over some prices. I feel like my stylist did a great job. So let's talk about prices. I'll be right back.
So let's start with the style note. I know a lot of you probably aren't interested in the style note, but I think it's kind of interesting. And for those of you who do want to know what she has to say, stick around. For those that don't, go ahead and jump to the end and get some prices. So, hi Cindy, I had so much fun adding items to this trunk and loved the helpful feedback you provided. We love challenging you to step out of your comfort zone a bit and try things you might not, might not have chosen on your own. Check out the outfits we put together for added inspiration. As always, you keep what you love and can send the rest back. Please don't forget to provide feedback before returning your trunk as it helps us get better at serving you. You can process any exchanges through exchanges through that form as well. Let us know if you have any questions and we'll be happy to help best Kelsey. I have figured out that Trunk Club does not necessarily have one stylist that works with you. They have like a style team, so you may not get the stylist, the same stylist every time. So I wish they would kind of tweak that. I'd kind of like the stylist to get to know me a little bit better, but I feel like my stylist did a great job with this one. I feel like you did great, Kelsey, if you're watching. Let me grab the prices on my phone. Okay, so as I mentioned before, um, I have found that you can find reduced prices on the app as opposed to what might be in your um, return envelope thingy. Um, so I always check there for um, prices when I'm going through the wrap up. So here we have the black strappy sandals. These are Mark Fisher and they are $130. $130. So you can see the strappy, you can see that it is a square toe and there is the heel height and it is kind of a unique little heel there. So I do like these. I think they're very cute. I did have some trouble there with the strap, the top strap, but I love the way that they go on and the way that they strap around your feet. It's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I just don't think these are going to be a keeper. All right, next we have the purse. Um, again, it is by Matt and Nat. This is reduced from $135 to $94.30, so it is 30% off right now. We have the Wit and Wisdom jeans. Those are the dark wash jeans, which I did like. These are $78. Um, I do like these. I like the dark wash. I like that there's no distressing. Um, they are a legging. I don't have, or they're a skinny jean. I don't have any skinnies that are this color that are not um, distressed in some way. So those are a contender. And then we have this pretty little number. This is Eliza J Floral Ruff Ruffle A-Line Dress. It is $148. So it is definitely pricey. Um, so evidently, when I go to exchange, it says no other collar or sizes are available to exchange for at this time. So this must be a popular item. My guess is they must have sold out of this one in any other sizes and collar. So, I mean, that's kind of one thing I do like about Nordstrom. Sometimes you get things that aren't otherwise available, but you can put items on your wish list and they will notify you if they go on sale or when they're back in stock. So that might be something I look at. I'll get on the website and see if they do have a 2X available and then ask and then put it on my wish list. All right, so then we have the black pants. I thought these were very nice too. I liked that they were lightweight. Um, these, are an, these are by Open Edit um, and they are originally 69, but they are reduced to 51.75. Those might be staying in my closet. And then we have the black crop top. This is going back. This is also by Open Edit. It is originally $49. It is on sale for $34.30. This one's going back. It just was not for me. Then we have this little dress. I thought this was really cute and a lot of fun. It's not something, it's not like anything I have in my closet already. Oops. Um, it is also on sale. It is originally $49. It is reduced to $36.75. It's by Treasure and Bond. So I'm going to look back at the footage of this one to see what the back of this one looks like um, before I commit to it. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, then we have the, oh, <laughs> I'm wearing it. 
So then we have the little tangerine. This is called Tiger Lily um, from Free People. This is $58. I do like this as well. I think it would look cute with jeans, jean shorts, white, white shorts. Um, so I do really like this. Then we have the Madewell jeans that I also have on. Um, she says light wash jeans like these are great for the spring summer season. Pair them with sneakers, booties, and sandals. So I love that they leave you little notes about each thing I too. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Um, and give you ideas how to style each piece. So these are $128. I don't think these are going to stay with me. Then we have the white top. This is by CC. It is $69. So I did like this, but I did not love it. I don't think that I would miss it if it's not in my closet. So the items that I'm really considering right now this the dark wash jeans the black jeans or i'm sorry the black pants and maybe the dress because of that good price i'll just have to look back at the footage and see so i feel like my stylist did a really great job this time so it's been a little while since i've done a truck club i just haven't really been getting items in there that i was really all that impressed with or they were too expensive or whatever but I do feel like I got a good mixture this time, and I love that I got some items that were on sale. Um, I feel like she got my sizing perfectly because there's nothing in here really that didn't fit. Um, it's just whether or not I liked it or not. So, good job, Kelsey. I'm impressed. So, again, if you want to try Trunk Club for the first time, there is a referral code down below. Please feel free to um, check that out. There is a $50 credit for you and a $50 credit for me. If you enjoy these types of videos, I would love for you to stick around, hit the, the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you know when I do a new upload. Um, I will have some book reviews. I know I've been telling you guys that for like weeks. Um, I will have some book reviews and I actually have a swimsuit video coming up. So look forward to that as well as another stitch fix. So I feel like I've been doing really well here the last few boxes. Fingers crossed they continue to do that. And I will see you guys soon. Please leave your comments down below and let me know what I should keep. I will see you guys soon. I am Sincerely Cindy Settle. I'm signing out.